Hallelujah, hallelujah. Greetings to you all, my followers on Facebook. May God bless you, my fans, wherever you are. We thank God again for today. We are still on our dream interpretation. So please, if you are first time stepping on my channel, please just like, please follow, share, and drop your comment at the comment section. Praise Master Jesus. You can also follow me on my YouTube channel, Dumbe Botame. Hallelujah. So this is our, our brother Sammy's prayer. Praise Master Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. We are still on our still um, dream interpretation. So we'll be on the B section on still on where you have um, the dream that we, we talk of um, last a video that we talk on that you have a dream that in that dream and you find yourself in a place that you saw this um local method of fireside hallelujah this local method of fireside that um they use the three stone fireside or the mold is um mold we did that they used to fry gabri that method of fireside the local method hallelujah so that was the main topic that we talked on last video so today i'll be talking on the beat on the b part hallelujah so the b part will be on the part that you saw see we are still talking about three three fireside the three stone fireside but this one we talk of three fireside one two three on the same place on the same place on the same place three fireside so we'll be talking about that this one we talk on you saw it with fire on it all the all of the three having fire on them hallelujah so we'll be talking on that part that you saw these three fire side and there was fire on top of them praise god so that is the main topic that we'll be talking today hallelujah so we'll be talking on the b part while we'll be talking about again for the c part on the same three fire side but without fire on them hallelujah praise god amen so that is our topic for today. We'll be talking about that you have a dream, and in that dream you saw yourself um, in an area that you saw this um, three uh, fireside, three stone fireside, or a fireside being mold with mud that they used to fry Gary. So that is our main topic for today. I uh, will still go back on on our still our various scriptures, but um, I will just be brief on uh, this area because we are just talking on the part hallelujah so bit we we're just talking on the part hallelujah so but we'll talk about that three stone fire side with fire it signify um the power and the presence of god in your life that fire that you saw on that fire side so you can you can see them they have the same um read of um the increase of fire within them or how the fire is burning in them the first one can be more higher than the second one and the second one will be uh, must be more higher than the third one so it go um in level upon level amen so it's the same as the grace as god give grace hallelujah to each one in major so when you find yourself and you you come across in that sort that same uh, dream it's talking about your the presence of god in your life and it's talking about your prayer life so we'll go back to some scriptures and um, what you read in the bible is talking about the lukewarmness. You see, now that you are cold or you warm, I will spit you out. Hallelujah. I will spit you out. So it's talking about the fire in you. So we'll go back to the book of um, Psalms 109. He said, I make my angels spirit, but my saints flames of fire. Hallelujah. So we are of fire. If you are of God, you are of fire. Hallelujah. So that one is what? It's talking about yourself. It's talking about your prayer life. How how the level of your prayer life that you have been hallelujah so as the bible said in the book of um um at chapter one or at chapter two amen it was talking about utterance that utterance may be given that we may speak boldly hallelujah the utterance may be given unto them that they may speak boldly amen so if you are a, a deliverance minister that you have you have that grace the whole god has given you that that um that gift of deliverance so he's talking about the utterance, which is that presence of God, the Holy Ghost in you that moves you into an action for you to speak on something. It manifests. Hallelujah. It's because of what? That power of God that is in you. 
So God is showing you know, how the rate of your fire in you. He's talking about your altar in you. Hallelujah. So the altar which is your prayer is in you. God is in you. Hallelujah. So when you find yourself, um, before you find yourself on that stage, and you find, find yourself have such dream like that one, or you find yourself in that same revelation or that dream, and you were what you was you were putting fire, you're putting firewood. As we read um last um our scriptural reference that we take in the book of Leviticus chapter six from verse twelve to thirteen. Hallelujah. So he was talking about he said, For fire on the altar must be kept bonding. It must not go out. Hallelujah. Every morning the prince is what is ought to add more firewood and what and arrange the burning offering. Hallelujah. On the fire. And the fire will not go what? The fire will not go out. So he's talking about your prayer altar. He's talking about you, your save, your prayer altar. Hallelujah. So your prayer life will know what? Will not go down. The more you continue to pray, the more your altar increase. Hallelujah. The power of God increase in you. You become what? A fire. Whatever you mention in the name of Jesus is that utterance which is in you. You can't give what you don't have. Hallelujah. So you can't give what you don't have. So when you find yourself in that stage, and where you you had a, that revelation concerning that, and maybe sometimes you were you were what you were you were just arranging the fire and the fire blowing the fire for the fire to increase so that um, maybe there was there was something on top. So that moment that you were there increasing what fixing the fire so that the fire you catch is that the rate of prayer. It means that you need you need to increase your fire because you see it only comes in three. It always comes in three. If you see one, then I don't know. Maybe that one have your own interpretation, but what I'm talking is about three fireside in the same place. Three, one, two, three. Represent the presence of God. I'm not talking about one. I'm talking about three. And all the three that if you saw all, all of the three will have fire. But the fire will not be the same on them. So if you find yourself, maybe the third one, you're increasing the fire. Maybe you're joining, you're arranging the wood and you're blowing so that the thing will increase. It's talking about you need to pray more. He's talking about your prayer life. You need to pray more. That's the meaning about um, that. He's talking about yourself. You need to increase your prayer life. You need to increase the fire in your life. So our scriptural reference, um, uh, we'll take Leviticus chapter, chapter 9. Leviticus chapter 9 verse 24. Hallelujah. And there came a fire out from before the Lord and consumed upon the altar. The born, the born offering and the fat, which, which when all the people saw, they shouted and fell on their face. Hallelujah. So it's talking about yourself. It's talking about yourself. It's talking about yourself. So that fireside represents your prayer altar. It represents you, represent you yourself. So if you are fixing, you are arranging the fire for the fire to keep on burning. It means that you need to pray more. You need to pray more. So that's why we read um, the Vatican uh, 6 from verse 12 to 13. It says the fire will not go out of the altar. So the prince, they began to, what, to add more wood on it. They began to add more wood. So the fire at the altar will never go out. Same as your prayer life. So if your prayer, if that fire began to go down, that is what that, that means. Your prayer life has what has stepped downward. So you need to what to increase the the rate of your prayer. So that altar or that fire that you're seeing, that three fire side that you see them burning, represents you yourself. The one that you saw the fire going and that you're struggling to arrange it. It's talk about you. Talk about your prayer life. You need to increase your prayer life. Hallelujah. You need to increase your prayer life. You need that you need to pray more so that your fire will keep on burning. Hallelujah. Amen. So that is a B part of um the same um on the last video that we talk on uh, our dream that you dream about seeing a three stone fire side. Hallelujah. You dream and you saw this local tree for your side. Hallelujah. Praise God. So I just come with a B part. So I just talk about the one that you saw with fire on them. Hallelujah. You saw the fire on them. So that is the meaning about it. It's talking about yourself. It's talking about your prayer all time. It's talking about your prayer life. 
Neither you need to increase your prayer life. Hallelujah. So that your fire will not what will not quench. Hallelujah. Stay blessed, uh, brethren. May God bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Please um just like share. Please drop your comment at the comment section. I will get back I'll get back to you. If any other question, please just drop um your comment at the comment section. I will get back to you. Thank you. Bye bye.